Hi goddesses and welcome to another stash video and tonight is the night we do the sexy. We do the purple hollows. Now for something that is essentially one colour and type of polish, a purple hollow, um, I seem to have quite a few, um, never counted them, denial is key to insanity and polishaholicalism, um, but you'll see there's quite a lot of different shades of purple in here, from dark ones, to creamy beigey ones, to classic icy ones um, and we've even got some reddish weirdy ones so um, yeah there's lots of them and they're very exciting so I'm going to start sorting them here um, while you have a little bit of a drool over what you can see in camera shot um, and I'm going to try and divide them as well into the shades of purple that they are because that is very important um, when you're looking at purple polishes because bollocks just dropped one um, purples are not just purples um, purples come in very many shades and sizes so if I just show you what I mean um, some purples are brown based like this beauty and others are very blue based like this beauty um, and that I think is part of my fascination with purple that there are just so many variations um, and so many different tones that it takes that well I just don't get bored with them um, as you may have gathered from ye olde blog so when um, yes I'm pretty much drowning in purple hollows it has to be said um, do I feel any shame about that no no none at all um, I love them um, love them lots um, is it the first box I'd grab if there was a fire mm, maybe um, they're all pretty precious to me for various reasons so uh, um, I would definitely be wanting to preserve them um, there's also some brands that definitely do hollows better than others and, and this video I think is going to be a bit of a a synopsis really of your go-to hollow brands um i'll summarize them at the end if i remember um but really that there's four um that you want if you're buying hollows um you want above the curve literary lacquer celestial lacquer well celestial cosmetics um or maybe five actually two fancy lacquer and darling diva um they're all just stunning so let me start taking you through then let's do these um reddish ones no let's not because they're out of shot at the moment let let's clear some room shall we um and be a bit more well i can't say organized because that's just not me at all is it but anyway you know what i mean right let's start with those ones so let's just check where you're looking okay so we're going to start with these um they are four polishes which are quite similar um <laughs> oh dearie dearie right let's um just a quick recap of them first of all so um firstly the polish bar actually that's another one to add to the list um janice do, does gorgeous little hollows um this is a lovely soft purple one it's not quite as blue as it's looking there on camera and that's called far far away um there's then a naya's desire one called for an angel uh, which is lovely no complaints about that either and then these are the two that are the most similar and i wonder whether they look alike because the bottles practically the same as well so you have two fancy lacquer shrinking violet versus emily de molly devotion um now what's interesting is i've considered um de-stashing devotion before and chickened out at the last minute um it is gorgeous um compared to the two fancy lacquer it's definitely got more hollow going on a lot more bend there and the color is a little bit deeper um, so they're not dead on dupes, but they are probably a little bit similar co for comfort. But we'll, we'll, we'll ignore that for now. That's okay. We don't we don't have to address it all. So let's let's do the the ready purple ones then. Um, this is a bit of a mishmash because I think some of them live in the red box, some of them live in the purple box. 
but hey ho there's more room in this box than there is in the other one so um first of all this is an indefinable one this is literary lacquers phenomenal woman um one of the blogger creations polishes from a couple of months ago um this is nominally red but there's lots of flashes of purple in it um it's almost like a living gradient on your nails a very difficult polish to categorize hence why it's been lumped in this tub um we then have two hits polishes um we've got here um hits athena which is an out and out pink and i have no idea um why that has ended up in this particular bucket so we'll put that to one side um and then this one is another hit this is so unique um i did a blog post a few weeks ago about crow's toes indian summer and naya's desire prana um this is another of the ones that are very similar to that so i'm going to keep that to one side on the nail table um because i do need that for my comparison post soon right we then have the lovely femme fatale um labels come off but i'm pretty sure this is fatal attraction so this is amazing there's hollow in there there's purple in there there's burgundy there's ruby there's just crumpet happiness in there really um and then two very dark ones um smitten polish i never drink wine um which is a lovely red wine colored hollow um quite a difficult shade to get perfect with a hollow and that's lovely um and then if you can just see first of all by comparison this one is a couple of clicks darker which is quite a trick um this is too fancy lacquer like aphrodite absolutely stunning on the nail um it's just crazily decadent um and it looks utterly utterly gorgeous big fan of that one okay let's do some coochie coo ones some cute little ones i think so in the middle here we have two polishes which wow don't they look the same um actually the camera's helping here because the camera is showing that this one is definitely beige and this one has maybe a hint more blue um they're both stunning um this is lacquer lust um suavemente um beautiful delicate polish this one um i've just been editing photos of it in the vault today um i only swatched it a year ago or something um so that will be coming to the blog um pretty soon sorry just spat on my camera and this one is a very special polish for me this is chirality and um, the sinking bell um this was the first limited edition polish that chirality did and because it was poipal and a hollow they asked me if i would be the um first reviewer um to swatch it for them so that was quite an honor for me um and it's a gorgeous gorgeous polish just oh so ladylike but um i have a real real weakness for dusty lilacs dusty grazes and this kind of sits in that category for me um we then have one that's a little bit different um this is a little bit hollow and quite a lot shimmery this is above the curve Athea. Um, this is part of the collection that all had weird names. Um, this is a lot bluer and a lot greyer than the other two. Um, and that's why I have so many purple hollows. Because look, they are both purple hollows, general description, but massively, massively different. Um, so that's that one for you. And then another little polish bar. This one is sheer rose. Um, so this one is it, it, oh, it, it's really pale and cute and babyish. Um, for me, this one will probably be used in nail art and as a base. Um, but it was so so sweet. I quite liked wearing that one. Right, let's do these dark ones yet. Um, you'll notice that um, we've not destashed any yet. Um, I, I really wouldn't place your money on that happening. These are purple hollows, for God's sake. As if, as if. Okay, so we have two above the curves. Um, above the curve do really, really gorgeous polishes. Um, this may sound a bit 
peculiar um but some brands i swatch and it's effortless it's beautiful and i feel i really connect with them other brands i swatch and i'm like what is that mess i've just made on my nails no fault of the brand um just me and i've come to the conclusion that certain brands just talk to me um and when i've um real talked to the makers um we seem to have a very similar wavelength about a polish should, what a polish should be excuse me <coughs> <clears throat> and and what drives its beauty um and above the curve it is one of those brands for me um i, I love sean and angel they make fabulous polishes um and what's interesting here um is you see the development of a brand so over here we have um risen angel which was one of their earlier polishes very nice probably more scattered than linear and then here we have wisteria which is a slightly later one look the bend is crazy um it's dark it's devilish oh it's just gorgeous love that polish um right we then have um naya's desire um revel so um this was one that i found totally by accident on etsy um and i think i cheekily said to erin i'm gonna buy a couple do you want me to review them for you um and this was what we ended up with and um her shop went ballistic because if crumpet can't do a purple hollow ain't nobody can do a purple hollow um so this has got the drama maxed up to 11 it's absolutely stunning um if you want a purple hollow with drama one that's quite dark really really recommend that one another one that i would recommend do you know i've got a really soft spot for this one even though i never wear it um is this color club one wild at heart so three years ago um this was one of the first hollows that i owned um it's absolutely beautiful on the nail it doesn't compare in terms of bend um to what you see now um but it's just a really beautiful polish and i think i've got i've kept this one for sentimental reasons um, also very sentimental about this one lady of the lake by a england um i remember absolutely losing my heart to this polish um it's very very blue toned actually it's almost an indigo um color still beautiful but nowhere near as bendy again as some of the the newer style polishes so if you want a dramatic color but without too much bend drama um, that's a quite good one to go for okay right let's move all these ones because if there is dupage in the city of purple this is where it will happen yeah these are all really similar um so let us start with ozotic 513 so oh wow look at that camera shot whoa okay again this one is kept for sentimental reasons this was one of the very first hollows that i bought um this was when um leanne Leroux only had an ebay store um so this is getting on for three years ago now that i bought this you can see the hollow is spectacular it's a dead-on dupe for glitter gal um either purple hollow or did they rename it dark bruise um something like that but it's made by the same parent company just different brandings um you'll see in a minute it's not unique in my stash in, in fact it's the most commonly duped color of purple hollow that i see um but this one is my original one um in a lot of ways it's a yardstick for other polishes I've not done um, a purple comparison post for a long time, um, but this one would always be in it. Look, 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 isn't she cute how she plays for the camera? She's showing off, and why shouldn't she? She's bloody stunning. Right, um, we then have another Catherine Arley. If I'm honest, um, this colour doesn't wow me, uh, but I like the dusty quality to it, um, and I've kept the other Catherine Arley, so I thought, well, you know, you keep a couple, you should probably keep them all um it's pretty um but i've never worn it since i swatched it on a nail whoops okay um another little cute sentimental one this is a loki's lacquer polish um these polishes are no longer made and this one is number five is alive um i was sent this for review um and it kind of took me by surprise actually it's a very very delicate hollow 
and then it's got some shimmer in it as well um, and it's just really beautiful really cute love the bottle um, so I kept that one um, very fond of that one right we then have two darling diva polishes which were um from the recent um stevie nicks collection we have stand back and we have if anyone falls now i did comment on this in the blog post at the time but this is an example of how two seemingly identical purples can be different so you can see here on the left we've got the blue toned purple and here on the right we've got the brown toned purple so the color is the same but the base tonage is different um when you wear them together you can just about tell if i'm honest if you're not that precious about your purple hollows you're never going to know the difference and you only need one of them um again if you have a preference as to brown bases or blue bases in your purples that will dictate your choice um but i've kept them both because they are both stunning um and to me they're different even though they're almost not but they almost are so that's okay um, and we then have um, another Too Fancy Lacquer. This is A Current Affair. Um, this is quite gorgeous. Um, it's a lot redder. Well, not a lot redder, but it is redder um, than the Exotic. And redder, yes. And lighter, she says smugly, um, than the Darling Diva. So that's another nice one. Um, I really recommend Too Fancy Lacquers. Um, they stamp as well, um, which is always good. Um, and then we have Literary Lacquers, Everything You Love. Um, this is gorgeous. Um, I don't really have another purple in this kind of range. Maybe this one, which is an early above the curve. Um, this one's Guardian Angel. Um, but it's quite uncharted waters. It, it's a medium brown based polish. Oh, they are quite alike, aren't they? In some ways. Um, but I really like that. That It's nice and it's delicate when it's on. Um, all of Amy's polishes. Um, if you ever read her Crumpet Chats to with me, um, she works on the basis of less is more. And with her polishes, um, especially her hollows, you often need three coats. And it's because she keeps them thin to let the light through. And when I first heard her say that, I thought it was the most clever comment I'd ever heard about a hollow polish. Um, that being said, um, I don't know how some polish makers then manage to make these opaque ones that are still um, quite beautiful. But whatever Amy's doing, I love the results. Um, so keep doing it. Right, let's finish off with these ones before we go to that corner over there so another literary lacquers um this is one of my all-time favorite polishes this is if it pleases you um every once in a while you meet a polish that just unlocks something within your heart and for me that's what this polish did it's just absolutely breathtaking um i love it to pieces can't get enough of it um and i would urge anybody to buy it very brown toned as you can see but oh my god so so beautiful um we then have the classic opi ds original um would you believe i owned this sold it and then went oh shit i think i want that again um so i bought it again um i don't have many of the opi um hollows um but i do have a few and i love all the ones that i've got actually um, this one is just magical um, again this is one of the most duped purple hollow colours there is um, it seems to be the, the stopping off point for everybody that wants to make a purple hollow um, this is where they go first this silvery lilac -y purple colour um, this just looks like unicorn juice in the bottle it's amazing um, don't buy anything if you can find the original get the original because it's much much better um certainly way better than the china glaze equivalent which is just an utter dud in my opinion um so that's the very special opids original um we then have another literary lacquer surprise surprise um this is as the waltz was ending now this one i did not expect to like at all when i got this in my review package um basically because it, it's quite violety and blue toned which doesn't always match my skin tone but it did it looked beautiful on 
Um, very different to all the other colours in the purple stash. Um, this is the only one that I've got like that. So very nice. Um, and the final literary lacquers we've got over here is Mysterious Irrevocable Sacred, which um, it's a bit of a toss up whether this is a purple or a, or a blue. It goes on as quite an indigo y denim -y colour. Um, I would probably categorise it as blue, but as the purples live with the blues, I've probably pulled that out by accident. So let's just move on. So here are two sets of polishes, which from a distance look identical, but they're not. They're not. So firstly, the gorgeous Celestial Cosmetics. Um, I've only gotten into this brand this year, but oh my God, I adore them. We have Elegantly Wasted over here, which is slightly paler than Blitzen's Budgie Smuggler over here if i do that for you uh-huh um the budgie smuggler is definitely the winner uh, but there's also something truly beautiful um about elegantly wasted as well so they are both gorgeous um if you're not a massive Purple Hollow fan and you own one of them, you don't need the other. Um, but for those of us who need to justify why we have two extremely similar colours, well, they're just different, aren't they? Different. Um, and then two fancy lacquers, um, which aren't actually identical, but they're very tonally congruent. Um, so first of all, we have Prima Donna, which is a very icy lilac. And then over here we have Moonlight Sonata, which has a bit more blue to it and a bit more depth. Um, both of them are excellent for stamping, um, but they both look beautiful in their own right as well. Um, and you can just see there how, mu how much bend is in those bottles. So there you go. That's the purple stash. Um, we're not going to count them, as I said, because counting is counterproductive to denial. Um, hope you've liked them all. Um, I did own more at one time. I was quite vicious in a D stash once and I promised to my babies that I would never ever do that to them again because it would just be cruel and I can't hurt their feelings um so yeah there's a lot of purples here I think I could probably wear a different purple hollow nail polish easily for a month um every day and um not dupe myself but you know it's good to have a bit of variety even when they're similar um so there you go i hope you've seen some that you love some maybe that you've not seen before um seriously get yourself into literary lacquers because they're awesome um also get yourself into too fancy lacquer because she's awesome um as is darling diva but you know that and i've got a lot of darling diva fans um nice design this is just class and ev everything in this pile is class there is no crud there's no dodgy brands so you're safe buying from all these amazing people love you lots and see you soon